Jerusalem. I'm following the Ruach and not your Egyptian commandments. You may be prime minister over Egypt, but when it comes to the things of the Spirit, you are little in the things of the Ruach because I am being led and guided by the Ruach HaKodem. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hallelujah. Yahweh is good. Yahweh is total. Watch this. Watch this. Not so, my Abba. Menashe is the Bachor. His Abba refused the pull of the flesh. Even though he was blind, he knew exactly what he was doing. He says he will become a people. Menashe will become a people. And he will be great. But truly his younger brother will be greater than him. And his Zerah will become the fullness of the nations, the Melo Hagayim. I want to say a few things. I get this all the time. Especially from people coming out of Herbert W. Armstrong and the Worldwide Church of God. They say to me, okay, Rabbi, we're with you. We agree with you. But who is Menashe? Here, Yaakov said, yes, Menashe will not be the fullness of the Gentiles, but Menashe will become a great nation. Who is that great nation? Now, before I answer that question, because if I answer that question, I can give you the opportunity to disagree with me. And that's what the flesh wants to do. I disagree. I mean, but the way the devil works, 1,000% of the message right on, but that one area of disagreement, that's what you walk away from. That's the way the enemy works. So I get it all the time. Who is the great nation that Manasseh became? Read my lips. I don't care. <laughs> because that's not the focal point. If it was, Ephra Yaakov would have put his right hand on Manasseh. By the fact that the Ruach put his right hand on Ephraim, that should tell you that Ephraim is the focal point of prophecy. Yes. So some people want to argue that the Menashe is the United States. Could be. Other people want to argue that Menashe is Great Britain. Could be. Other people want to argue that Menashe is St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands. Could be. Other people want to argue that, that Menashe is, uh, is uh, you know, whatever. Pick your country. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, and I don't care, because I don't think anybody can prove who Menashe is. Well, that's not true, Rabbi. We go by facial characteristics. They have this, and they have this, and I, Isaac comes from Isaac, get it? I, Anglo-Saxons, get it? A etymology, we start using etymology. Anglo-Saxons, como Isaac, aha, ooh la la, we, no. We can't be sure. One thing we can be sure of, Yaakov was operating through the Ruach HaKodesh. And whatever I'm going to focus in on or, 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 or target right now has to be on the seat of Ephraim. So if you want Manasseh to be the United States, a blessing on your head, mazel tov, mazel tov. If you want, it, if you want Manasseh to be Great Britain, mm, a blessing on your head, mazel tov, mazel tov. If you want Manasseh to be Castro's Cuba, Oh, they, oh, they. <laughs> a blessing on your head, mazel tov, mazel tov. Now can we get back to the main point? <laughs> Who is Ephraim? One thing we know about Ephraim's identity is we don't know, we know that there's no nation called Ephraim. That we know. Ephraim would be the collective term of the ten tribes in the north. Those ten tribes would be scattered through Assyria in 721 BCE to all nations northward through the Caucasus Mountains and westward into Europe and then further westward into North America. And some of the Ephraimites went northeast into Asia and into China and into India. Israelites are everywhere. The Bnei Menasseh are the children of Manasseh found today in a modern country of India. India. India is east. Herbert W. Armstrong said they all went west. Wrong. Some of them went west, and some of them went east, and some of them went north, and some of them went south. How do I know? Watch. Listen. How do I know? Because Yahweh said, turn your name and said Yahweh says. Let's try that side of the room. Yahweh said. Yahweh said this. Yahweh said the seed of Ephraim, notice, the seed of Ephraim will become what? The fullness of the nations greater than England, 
greater than America, greater than Mexico, greater than Guadalajara, greater than Venezuela. I don't care who Manasseh is. It's irrelevant to the point. Now, people will argue about that. They'll challenge you. They'll argue. They'll corner. Irrelevant. Let's focus in on what Jacob focused in on. Let's focus in on what the Ruach focused in on. Let's focus in on what Yahweh focused in on. Let's, let's visualize and, and, and learn what Yahweh wanted to teach us. Amen? Amen. Amen? Ephraim is the issue. And who is Ephraim? And here's the bottom line truth. You give me five, five more minutes? Okay. Okay, fine. Seven more minutes? Fine. Eight more minutes? Because my hand is on Ephraim again. Let's lay our hands on Ephraim again. Let's lay our hands on Ephraim again. Not Manasseh. Let's do what Jacob did and lay our hands on Ephraim again. Because when we figure out who Ephraim is, we figure out who the church is. What did Yaakov do? When, Yaakov, when Joseph said, Manasseh is the Bahor, Manasseh is the firstborn, what did Yaakov say? What did Yaakov say? I know, I know, I know. I know. Now can we move on? I know, I know, I know, I know. Can we move on? Yes. That's what Yaakov was saying. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Watch this. Yes, of course, Menashe will become a great nation, but Ephraim will become greater than Menashe, and not through being England or the U.S. or another, uh, another nation, but rather by becoming no nation. No nation. Israel will fill all nations. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, can you count the stars? Sorry, Father, I don't have my calculator. <laughs> can you count the sand of the sea? Sorry, Father, I don't have a calculator. Yahweh said, good, and we will have a calculator that can count the sand of the sea and the stars of heaven. So shall your physical descendants be. How could Islam, who is the seed of Ishmael and Esau, the uh, supposed rejected seed, be 1.4 billion, and Israel, the supposed elected seed, be 16 million European Jews? <laughs> if we're blessed, and we're going to be more fruitful than the Muslims and the Arabs, and they're 1.4 billion, then where are the billions of Israelites? Amen. It was not Ishmael and Esau that were told to count the stars in the sand of the sea. No. It was Abraham, Yitzhak, and Jacob. Meaning, if they are rejected as 1.4 billion, we who are blessed and accepted must be more than the 16 million Jews that are walking around today in the world. Oh, are Jewish people Israel? Of course. But they're not all Israel. Baruch Hashem. So notice. Yaakov does this. He's, I wish I was blind like Yaakov. He knows through the Ruach you can never be blind. If you've got the Ruach HaKodesh, oh. if you walk by, for as many as are led by the Ruach of Yahweh, they are the sons of Yahweh, Romans 8, 12. For as many as are led by the Ruach of Yahweh, they are the sons of Yahweh. You can never, never be blind in the Ruach. Yes. Yeshua said to the Purushim, because you say we see, your sin remains. If you would declare yourself blind in the spirit, I would remove your sin. But because you say you see, you see, your sin remains. Watch this. How do I get saved? Declare yourself blind in the Ruach. I need a seeing eye Messiah. I need, you need, we need a seeing eye Messiah. When we declare ourselves blind in the Ruach, Yeshua becomes our seeing eye Messiah. He becomes that stone with seven eyes in Zechariah. He's not that stone with one eye or two eyes. He's the stone with seven eyes, somebody. Am I boring? No. Not me. Baruch Hashem. Baruch Hashem. We got to want this to watch. So he lays his right hand on Ephraim, and he says, Your seed, Ephraim, will become the Melo Hagoyim. The fullness of the Gentiles. Time out. I read in Romans 11, 25, and 26 that the mystery of Israel, the mystery of Israel, the mystery of the olive tree, is we are waiting for the fullness of the Gentiles to come in. When the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, all Israel will be saved. 
the mystery of the fullness. When the fullness of the Gentiles comes in, all Israel will be saved. 